guys welcome back to our channel hey thank you for stopping back by what's up guys um, what's up y'all before we get into today's video i want to share the scripture with you guys first um and that's coming from luke chapter 23 um verse 34 and it says jesus said father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing and again guys that's from luke chapter 23 verse 34. amen amen so um, I'm not even sure why I'm here today. No, I'm just messing. Hey, babe, would you feel the me? And what, what are we doing today? What, what, uh, why do we sit down at this table with this good lighting, um, to talk to the people about, talk to help, help us out, help us out. So guys, as you know, um, if you watched our previous videos, we just celebrated year four, um, of marriage. So we wanted to come back and do a question for every year that we've been married. So we got four questions that we're gonna do. And have you seen the questions? I have not. I've okay. not seen the questions. So, was I, was I supposed surprise. to see the questions? No. So. I mean, I sent them to you a while ago. He just didn't look at them, apparently. Hey guys, it's like that sometimes. <laughs> but nevertheless, so I guess as it relates to me, I'm gonna go off the top of the dome. Yeah. Whereas she's had time to, to no, think. No, I actually, no, I haven't thought. No? No. All right, well, take and let's go we then. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so she's answering first, by the way. She's answering first. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay. So, our first question is What do you remember about last year's anniversary and how did it strengthen our marriage? Okay, so for me, last year we were supposed to go away on a vacation. Um, I didn't know where we were going. He planned the whole trip and then literally the week that we were supposed to leave, everything shut down. So we were at home. I think we might've ordered out and brought it back home. And I think also in the midst of that, we were packing to move if I'm not mistaken. I think that was around that time. I remember spending lots of time with my hubby because it was quarantine. How did it strengthen our marriage? I would say when you're stuck in a house, you have no choice but to get to learn each other more. You know, um, I think it strengthened our bonding time. Um, I think we cooked a lot more together. We read a lot more together. We watch TV, ooh, watch TV more together. <laughs> and just spent time with our son together more. Um, we just invested more time in one another. You know, um, he works a lot, guys, if you didn't know. He works a lot. So I really enjoyed that time. She makes me work a lot. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's what I remember about last year's anniversary. Okay. What about you? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Yeah. Can you, can you ask the I'll question ask again? I'll ask it again, guys. The question is, what do you remember about last year's anniversary and how did it strengthen our marriage? So for me, uh, what I remember, specifically, I had a couple, actually, man, I had basically a whole month plan for us. I had a couple different engagements. Uh, I still can't say where we were going because we're still going to go. Uh, so okay. what she did know, we had a, a trip plan. I had some, uh, some things that I was, I, I, I had planned on doing that just got shut down because of COVID. Uh, I actually had, uh, tickets to, uh, her first, uh, NBA basketball game. She didn't know about that. Uh, and that got shut down due to COVID. Um, so yeah, actually, you know, I, I can't really say too much from, uh, it, too much different from what she said. We actually were in the process of uh, moving at that time. So it was, it was definitely a time of bonding, you know. Granted, you know, we had trips planned, which was going to be time of bonding, uh, but they got shut down. We couldn't, there was nothing we could do about it. You know, so we made the best of it, you know, locked in at the house. Uh, like she said, you know, it was definitely a time for us to, to bond, uh, to get closer to each other. Uh, to just learn each other. I mean, I know for me, there were some things that I know she learned about me um, that she hadn't known and vice versa, just because when you're in the house with a person for an extended amount of time, you know, it's gonna be some things that will come up like, oh, okay. 
I didn't, I didn't know you you did that or I didn't <laughs> you know but it was it was good and it was strengthening to our marriage because you know through through it all you know packing and actually uh, getting things together from our first place together which was apartment an apartment that she had previously lived in uh, so it was just it was sentimental you know just packing up our things you know cleaning that place up to then transition into our first home together as a family it was uh, it, it was it was it was strengthening it was, it was monumental because um, it, it, it represented transition for us mm -hmm. You know, so I definitely remember it was just being a, a moment of transition um, in our marriage, in our in our in our walk, in our talk, uh, just how we conducted ourselves. It was just a season of transition for us. So, yeah, that's definitely what I remember about last year's anniversary. It was again, it was it was monumental. It was monumental. Yeah. And then what? I think I said it, but ask oh, it again. I think I did. Um. And how did it strengthen our marriage? So yeah, yeah so I, I touched, yeah, go ahead. Basically I, just brought us it, closer. It, it did, it brought us closer together. I mean, I looked at last year, uh, especially for marriages, if being locked in <laughs> with your spouse, with your family, if it did not bring you closer together, I don't know what will, mm -hmm. you know? So for us, it definitely just brought us, honestly, for real, even transitioning into, you know, where, where things are softening and we're allowed to do a little bit more. Last year actually made me more of a homebody. I was already a homebody and, and mm -hmm. enjoyed being around my family and loved being around uh, my family. But even more so now, like when I go to work, because she says that I work a lot, my priority is to get back home first. I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to do any after hour haircuts. I don't want to do anything. I want to get back home with my family. And that's what last year's anniversary in the heat of COVID <laughs> did for us, mm -hmm. uh, which was just bring us closer together and strengthen our, our union. Yep. So. Okay, moving right along to question two. What qualities do you appreciate in me? Okay, so. Yeah, you answer first. Okay, first. Okay. Yes. So, let's see. They're not gonna be in any kind of order, okay? Yeah, go ahead. So, I can appreciate in my husband um, just his love for God probably is first. Sorry, I guess I'm going to go in order. Um, his love for God first. Um, I'm a firm believer that God is the head of our household, and he should come before me, and in my life, he should come before him. I love how awesome of a dad he is to our son. Um, I love that he's a family man. Um, you know, he has had the opportunity to go, you know, hang out with his friends like certain days and he always chooses to come back to us. So I just love that about him, um, how he can't wait to get home every day. And when he gets home, he lets us know that Dang, I missed you guys today. I love how much he loves to work and how big of a provider he is. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a stay-at-home mom. So for this last year, um, I've been staying home with our son and he has made that possible. So I thank you for that. Um, and I love how much he takes initiative in this marriage and making the effort to um, do things, like go out of his way to do things to make me feel important and to make sure we never lose that spark. I love that. Whatever it is he's doing, he's passionate about it. Um, he doesn't have to do things. He puts full effort into whatever he's doing. Just five star everything. So yeah, those are my, I think I, that was five things. You don't have to do five things, but. Hi. <laughs> I'm playing. I barely got one. So, <laughs> so ask the question again. Okay, so question number two. What qualities do you appreciate in Markeisha? So what qualities do I appreciate in Markeisha? Well, three hours later. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> No, um, just just being very, very transparent. You know, what you guys don't know, what attracted me to her, 
um, was her love for God. And what I mean by that is, again, we'll, we'll, this, this segment of which I'm about to speak about, we can do in a whole nother video, but I was in a dark place at one point in my life and um, she displayed a love for God that literally drew me out of that place. You know, so um, I honestly, it was in that moment where I was like, wait a minute, God, you do love me because of her loving me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't know if there's any men that can relate to that, but man, when you got a good one, you know, that, that loves God and has a heart for God and has uh, a heart for the people, man, hold on to her, hold on to her. And that's what I seen in her, you know, from um, my, my, my desolate place that I was in, you know, she loved me out of that place. You know, so that's that that's on the top of my list as it relates to qualities. Uh, and as we've grown into marriage, I've just seen her uh, just be so selfless, you know, as it relates to giving her last or, you know, just going out of her way to do something for another individual. Her heart is golden. I've watched her, you know, time and time again as we're driving on the road and she sees someone uh, who is poor or without she wants to give them the clothes off her back. She wants to empty her pockets to make sure that they have. And I'm telling you, man, a person like that, you know, I know for a fact that God is going to bless. And because the two became one, you know, I'm, I'm just appreciative for her, her heart that has transitioned to, you know, even soften my heart in areas where it once was hard. You know, I believe I, she has qualities that are contagious. You know, so uh, man, I, I'm, I'm, I admire, you know, her walk, man. And, and as we've grown through our marriage and I've seen her uh, maturity and her growth and then now being a mother, like I admire the role she takes as a mother. You know what I tell you, like, I know for a fact because she said, you know, I work a lot. So that means I'm, I'm not home a lot. So she handles business. I know she's tired on, on some days when I get home and that's why when I do get home from work, regardless of how tired I am, I go straight into to, to daddy mode, to husband mode. Hey, you good? Can I do anything? Need some help? You know, but the, 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 the fact and the truth of the matter is that she has taken on the mantle of a mother. You know, it's like, Yes, she's tired, but she's the individual say, I got it, you know? And then keep in mind, I, I also admire her honesty too, because if she's tired, <laughs> she will tell me, she will tell me. So, man, like I said, we can go on and on and on. We will be on here for- um, 12 days. Yeah, a At few least. days. Uh, but those are just some of the qualities that I admire about my wife. You know, I honor her, uh, she's admirable and she is definitely a, a gem in my eyes. So. Uh, I love the fact that she is lovable. Mm -hmm. Thanks, B. Aww. I got you, boo. I got you. Um, the next question says, I feel more in love with you when... Mm. Sips tea. I feel... Apple cider. Oh, yeah. Guys, we are drinking apple, hot apple cider. Hot apple cider, yeah. yeah. Um, I feel more in love with you when, I would say, like when you compliment me. Are you fine, I, girl? No. <laughs> Y'all, I still be shy. Like, when he compliments me, I'll be like, yeah. I'll act like a little kid. Like, uh-uh, don't do w -C -E. that. W-C-E. <laughs> uh-huh. Find a, a woman, woman crush, crush every, every day. day. Every single day. Come on. Come on, fine Friday. <laughs> Fun Monday through Sunday, Come on. All, yeah, all of them, all of them. Marvelous Monday. Yeah. Uh, keep going. I'm gonna think okay. of some other ones. Um, I forget the question. Oh, I'm I more in love up, with you. I messed up, y'all. I messed up. <laughs> I'm more in love with you when is that the question? Yeah, I'm more in love with you when. You said I yeah, want to compliment you. When you compliment me, um, when you go out of your way just to do stuff. To make me feel like 
I'm not alone. Like a lot of stay at home moms, you know, they carry a lot of weight around and, and don't get the help that they deserve. Um, and when he steps in, he takes all the weight off of me. Even when he's at work all day, like when he comes home, it's just like a, oh, I can breathe. Got so you. yeah. Got you. Um, I feel more in love with you when you unfold your socks oh, in man. the uh, laundry. <laughs> Hey y'all, yeah. sometimes I be tired, man. I just want to take my socks off and forget taking them inside them in out. Hey. So when I go to do laundry, like, it's just a bunch of balled up laundry. And I'm just like, babe. Sorry. But he's been doing way better. So I'm do. amen Thank to you. that. Thank and you. I'm more in love with you when, though I cook a few times a week, but on the weekends, we eat out. So sometimes he'll just get off work, he'll work all day, get off work and be like, what you want me to pick up on the way home or something like that. And I just think that's just so amazing to me. Yeah, or I'll come home and make you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you know? Yeah, or a turkey and cheese sandwich. Hey, that turkey grilled, grilled. cheese. Listen, let me tell y'all about the hey, sandwich, that sandwich we had the other day. Tell, tell them. It had, what it have on a turkey, cheese, mayo, what was that? Um, honey mustard. Honey mustard. Honey mustard. And he grilled it on the stove, Texas y'all. Texas toast. What, yeah, Texas Let's toast. Let's go, man. Yep. It was amazing. Let's but y'all go. gotta have... Wait, what kind of butter do you have? Irish. Oh, the Irish butter, yes. That's the best butter It's a game changer. Have, yeah. It's a game changer. Don't get the imperial or Don't the... Don't get the I can't believe it's not butter. Don't or get... the I can't believe it's not butter. Mm, or the margin. Yeah. Come on now. Get that Irish, okay, guys? It's yes, a life changer. It is. Game changer. Um, so... What else do I like? I love that he, or I'm saying the question wrong, guys. Very. I'm sorry. I'm more in love with you when you plan stuff. Okay. He plans everything. He does, guys. I'm gonna get better, guys. I'm gonna get better. Um, and and you don't complain about it, like. Not at all. Some people you'll you'll have those complainers like yeah yeah I'll plan I'll plan it but I'm gonna complain. I the don't whole process. The reason I don't complain about it is because I don't know I, I guess I look at what you do as it relates to being at home and just taking care of the house as you know it's major. Yeah. You know so I look at me planning something as in what can I do for her? Mm -hmm. You know what can I do for her that can you know, ease her and, and, and make her feel good. Even just something something simple as, you know, uh, planning something we gonna, we gonna do in the backyard, whatever the case may be. Okay. I feel more in love with Markeisha when? You don't be saying your name or my name. Oh my gosh. Okay. I feel more in love with you when, hey, I'm about to knock this out the park. Okay. Um, I feel more in love with you when do tell. I wake up in the morning. Oh. So just drop the mic. <laughs> I'm not even going to riddle down, you know, what she does because she does a lot for me. So when I say I feel more in love with you when I wake up in the morning is because when I look at you like, man, thank you, Lord. I have another day to do life with this individual. You know, so I, I feel like I grow more fonder of you every day because I'm appreciative, and I say it time and time again, I'm appreciative of the gift that God has given me. You know, I don't take it for granted. I don't look at it as if it's not something I want to unwrap. No, I want to unwrap the gift because he gave it to me. You know, so each day that I wake up and I get to unwrap this gift, uh, that God has given to me, man, I grow more and more in love um, because I couldn't see it any other way. I couldn't see it any other way. You know, uh, when I get up and I go to work and I see my son has traveled over into my room and sleeping with his mom, like that is, I don't know, I can't, I can't even really explain it or put it into words. And then I see him embrace his mom because daddy's about to go to work like that right there is just a picture of love. So, and she does that, you know, that little boy loves her, you know, and I, like I said, I just grow more every day, 
it's not even it's not even I guess maybe I maybe I answered the question differently. It's not even about what you do for me because we can go down the list. We can riddle through this video all the things like a caption of what you do for me. But I, it's, it's a daily thing for me every day, every day, every day, every day I wake up and I, I thank God for you. Uh, man, I, I mean, I can't really even elaborate on that anymore. It's just it's a, it's a daily thing for me. I fall more in love with you daily, every day, every day. You know, even, you know, when we have our heated fellowships and our disagreements, that's life. You know, we don't we don't wallow or we don't even stay there long. You know, we shake that thing off and, you know, we we have matured over the years, mm -hmm. you know, and that's something to to fall in love with. You know, that's something to uh, appreciate. That's something to admire. That's something to be like, OK, God, I I thank you for this gift. So that was real good. That was real good. That's why you only had to say one thing. That's it. Then I had to say three. <laughs> Hey, it's good. It's good. I just I looked at the question a little differently, or the yeah. the statement. I looked at it a little differently, uh, but that's what makes us. Yeah. So, whereas you you too you, deep. You're too deep. No. No. <laughs> no. You looked at the bullet points. Oh yes, God. You looked at the bullet points. Yeah. I looked at the picture. Overall picture. So, but what makes the pictures is the frame, but then the details that's in it. Mm -hmm. So we make a good picture. Let's go. Go ahead, now. Go ahead. Okay. This is the last and final question. Question number four. It says, what has kept you in our marriage? So, guys, I feel like number one, God, first and foremost, he is the keeper of every relationship. So definitely the sustainer to our love story. And my husband, um, he makes it easy to be kept in this marriage just because he is all in. It's so, it's the most amazing feeling to be married to someone who is all in and who is invested in you and only you. And honestly, that's what's kept me. Man, um, I mean, for me to answer the question any different, um, I don't know that I can, I'm a, I'll try to elaborate a little bit because I believe when the two become one, you know, it's, it's, it's like mindedness yeah. here, you know, so for a fact, I know that God has been that third string <laughs> in this three chord strand. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I know for a fact us two couldn't have done it. You know with just us so there had to be uh, a, a third person in there you know and I believe that person is and will and always will be uh, God that will keep us together that uh, will remain the glue in our marriage because you know we've had some 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 times and I and what I mean by times is um, not that either of us wanted to physically throw the towel in but we we've, we've had some wrestles in the mind you know and the wrestles in the mind are easily shaken off when we know who God is and what he's done. When we realize that we don't fight against, we don't fight against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against spiritual wickedness in high places. And we know that any, any fiery dart that comes our way as it relates to our marriage is not of God, yeah. you know, and I can't be mad at her. Uh, the physical, you know, we have to be able to look beyond the physical and see that there is spiritual wickedness that are, that that's trying to destroy marriages. So we look to the heal from what's come our help, which is God. Mm -hmm. So without any doubt, we know that God has been uh, the forefront. <laughs> He's been uh, the, the, the person who we have yielded to uh, to keep us from danger seen and unseen. So I can't give credit to anyone else uh, but to God for uh, why we're still mar married, why I'm still in this marriage. And then, you know, just to add on to what my wife said, you know, she brings a different love out of me. <laughs> you know, she does. And she, she makes me want to love. Like I told you guys, you know, some, some, some time ago, I was in a dark place where she loved me from that place. So 
it, it like I said, it was it was something that was contagious and it made me want to to love her and she's made it easy for me to love. We've talked about it time and time again. Love is easy, but love is easy if you make it easy. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's it's easier to love someone that is lovable opposed to someone that does uh, doesn't want the love or resist the love. She receives my love also and she gives it. So there's a reciprocation that is taking place here. And that's, I'm telling you, because of the release and the exchange that we do, which is if love is released, love is exchanged. Mm -hmm. If love is exchanged, love is released. And I believe that is um, why I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Wow why we're still here you know so man to god be the glory um man yeah 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 um we can go on and on and on about this particular uh topic but um yeah man god is good he's good yes guys so that's actually the end of our anniversary questionnaire um we thank you guys so much for all the um comments and calls and um text wishing us a happy anniversary we had an awesome time getting away make sure you like this video comment on it um give us ideas on what to do next um share it and hit that subscribe bell hey y'all we love y'all hey man go in the peace of god hey if you guys are gleaning and looking from our love guess what this love can happen where you're at too. Mm -hmm. There has to be a release and an exchange. Don't let the release be more heavier than the exchange or don't don't let, don't allow the exchange to be more heavier than the love or the release rather. So guys, I'm telling you, if you want to possess uh, a love like this, first and foremost, seek God. Lord, give me direction for this person. Give me wisdom for this person. Give me wisdom for my wife. Give me wisdom. um, uh, Give me direction for my wife and vice versa. Uh, And that's how you will see things begin to unfold in your marriage, begin to unfold uh, in your relationship. And I'm telling you, it can be yours Mm -hmm. if you want it, y'all. We love y'all. Peace.